Engineer 775 back on the job with uh, Cougar Paw video part two. Uh, we were just sent a new set of Cougar Paws. These are the Steelwalker 2s. Yesterday Johnny got up on the roof with the, the uh, first generation Cougar Paw Steelwalkers. Let's check these out. What do you got? So Ooh, right, strappage. Right off the bat, I can tell it's, uh, it's got a nice leather. Me and Abraham were saying, I mean, you could wear this shoe to dinner. So you could wear this shoe to dinner. It's got a all leather. I don't think my wife would let me. Yeah, well, it's a nice shoe though. It's got the strap, so you can really cinch it down. I have a very wide foot, so this is this shoe is actually wide enough for me, and that's I wear like a 13 triple E. It's got a steel toe or a composite toe, I believe. Not a lot of flex in the shank. So that's nice. And um, I wore these yesterday, I wore the old Cougs. Uh, yesterday just here. so I can do a little comparison. Sole looks pretty similar. Uh, not sure if it's the same sole or not, but we're nope. going to find out when we get up there. Sole is, is different. So they got a different sole material. I don't know. It does look pretty close. The toe is uh, composite and uh, a little higher, a little more of a high top. It's Very got good. The, so how did we, this is the first truly metal roof that we've worked on with the Cougar Paws. What do you think after you, I mean, you were on the roof for what, six hours yesterday with them? Yeah, they're, they're, they're working great. I mean, you can, you can really tell the difference wearing these as opposed to wearing, you know, just a regular boot, regular boot or something. Um, if the roof is not clean, if it's real dusty and you might want to try to clean it off or squeegee it off or something, but like I said in the earlier video, anything that's going to give you any advantage at all when you're on a steep roof like that is worth doing. So, wouldn't even think about trying to do a metal roof without these now that I've had them. And uh, I highly recommend them to anybody that's on metal roofs for any length of time. And for whatever trade that you're in. Yeah, and, and you can, I cleaned them off with a baby wipe yesterday, and that uh, seemed to really help too. And just keep the roof as clean as you can. And uh, really likes those. The cleaner the better. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll see how he does today putting on the Steel Walker too. See if they're as comfortable as the first set. And uh, we'll get a couple shots with these gentlemen up on the roof. All right. Take it away. Got a little wet rag going here. If you're on a roof and you got a lot of dust or it's real dirty, it's actually going to benefit you to clean off either the sole of your cougar paw, give it a quick wipe, or if there's a lot of pollen or dust on the roof, it's not a bad idea to have a guy run through the roof and just wipe everything down, get the dust off it. It might take him 15, 20 minutes, but really increases the amount of traction that you're gonna get with your cougar paws. So if they get real dusty, just like on the basketball court, you know, you gotta keep your shoes clean. A wet towel really works good. Other than that, cougar paws are working great. <laughs>